Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my first ever makeup type of video and I'm really really excited. I'll be showing you my daily makeup routine. Disclaimer, I don't put this on my face every day. It's more of my usual go-to makeup routine. Like if I want to go out with my friends or if I feel like looking good at home even if it takes for me to slap off all day every day. I'm really really excited to show you guys the makeups that I'll be using today because most of them I don't personally use but a lot of people are talking about them that they are absolutely good so I have them here and I'll be showing you guys these products and if you would want to visit their websites or their Instagram profiles I'll be linking that in the description box so yeah that's basically it i hope you enjoy sit back and relax grab a snack or if you want to get ready with along with this video you can whatever you want to do so yeah let's get into the video So we start off with a clean face. Normally I just moisturize my face a few minutes before I start putting on makeup. So now we're putting our hair back to prevent any hairs going over our face while we put on our makeup. For the sunscreen, I'm using the Bello Sun Expert Vinted Sunscreen. This is someone has a double purpose for me, a foundation and a sunscreen all in one because I'm not really fond of putting actual foundations on a daily basis because I find it too heavy, most especially I'm in a humid country. So yeah, this sunscreen is a lifesaver because it has enough coverage that I needed and it has also a tone adapting technology which lessens the job for you to look for the right shade because it will just eventually adapt to your real skin color. And right now I'm just blending it all over my face with my beauty blender making sure that there is no products left unblended. So I'm just using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in two shades, one in the shade deep and one in the shade medium. I'm using two shades of concealer because the lighter one I use as a normal concealer and I'm just applying that all over my face that I want to lighten up. So right now I'm just blending my concealer with the same beauty blender that I was using a while ago in blending my sunscreen. The other one is to contour or define some parts of my face. I know it's weird to some but hey, it works for me so yeah. But if you have other products you think works for you then great. I just think that it's more practical using affordable but very good quality products like this on a daily basis. In that way you won't be wasting so much expensive products or makeups, most especially that you are in a budget like me. And right now I'm just blending everything with this huge brush, I don't know what they call this but I call it my contour brush. I got this from Etude and I'm just blending it all, all over making sure that there is no harsh lines left. Now for the powder, I'm using the Fit Me Foundation Powder in the shade 220. I find this more convenient to use than a cream foundation on a daily basis. It just gives you that matte effect without making your face look dry. And it will just help set everything up, most especially that we're applying too much cream products prior to this. For the eyebrows, we're applying first this Clear Bob Dub Brow from Sundays. This is the first product that I got from Sundays that I don't normally use but it is a game changer since I genetically have thin brows. This product helped my brows look way more fuller but natural looking. Afterwards, we're using this brow pencil from Sundays in the shade Vega. 
Normally, it comes in three shades, Calypso, Galaxia, and Vega. Just choose whatever suits you in their Instagram profile. All I can say is that it is very easy to use and its color is very buildable. So basically, I just line both of my brows all together because it helps balance them out and as much as possible look symmetrical. And afterwards, I blend them starting from the outer portion and just blending the inner portion with whatever is left in the spoolie. For the eyeshadow, I'm using this Technique Travel Size eyeshadow palette. It's actually a UK brand and if you wish to scroll through their products, I'll be linking that below too. So normally I just blend it all over my crease and that's basically it. Simple as that. Somehow I just want my eyes to warm up a little bit but still look natural. And now for my eyelashes, I'm just curling it with my eye curler, obviously. And for the mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Most Maybelline mascaras do great wonders, guys. I know most of you knew that from then. Like, I've been really using their mascara products since high school, I guess. But I used to have the Hyper Curl one and it does great too. So yeah, I'm just applying that all over my top lashes. So I'm applying a different mascara for my lower lashes, which I got from Technique. I have this travel-sized one. I have so much mixed feelings about this mascara. Like every time you put it on, it makes your eyes 100 times awake and your lashes are so much fuller. But after several hours, it would start to flake. I don't know, but I'm still using it because of how nice it is. But it's just the flaking that it's ruining it. For the eyeliner, I'm using this black eyeliner from Technique once again in a travel size. I'm just applying it to my upper lash line because if I put some in my lower lash line, it's going to give me that gothic look which I'm not aiming for everyday use. However, I have a few other friends who look good with eyeliners at their lower lash line. So basically, it just depends on your own liking and whatever suits you but for me, it would be this one. For the blush, I'm using this Sonia's Face Lip Dip in the shade Curl Crush on my cheeks because they're very subtle and easily blended. They also give that natural sun-kissed effect on you and I recommend this shade also when you're a morena like me. <laughs> so now I'm just blending it with my two hands. I don't know but it's convenient for me. Whatever is convenient for you then you can go that way. And for the lips, I'm using this lip stain from Sundays again. It's in the shade Magenta. I suggest don't be too generous in applying it because it is very tinted. Unless you're not aiming for a natural everyday look, then you can freely go all out. They also have a few other shades that you can look up on their Instagram profile in the description box. And now for my most favorite part, the highlighter. I'm using this Sparklight series from Sundays again in the shade Ilara. This shade is best for Marana people like me as well. But there are other few highlighter shades that you can get from them. So yeah, I'm just applying that outwardly on the upper part of my cheekbones as well as the lower part of my eyebrows, my nose, and my cupid bow. You can tell by my face guys that I'm so obsessed with this highlighter considering that it's very affordable yet very good quality. To tell you honestly guys, it's almost on the same level of good quality as my Tarte highlighter which I often use before but I broke it so yeah, I'm happy I had this one now. And now for the last and final step, the setting spray. I'm using this Mario Badesco facial spray to set all the products in my face. We'll just let it dry for a few minutes and voila, we're good to go. That's it guys, thank you for watching this video. 
If you like this video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, comment down. Comment down below. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. Mana tu? Remember flowers calling on warm days over to